Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, data visualization for fun. Um, so today I'm gonna talk about uh, how to calculate the mean or average value of uh, one column in a QGIS attribute table. Um, here I'm going to show you an example as I did in the last video. So first we ex execute the QGIS shortcut to open the QGIS. Um, still I'm using the 3.10 version. So first we need to input the data source. So I'm still using the example data source uh, like I did in the last video. So we find the SHP uh, the shape file. So there are many formats here uh, for one shape file. Actually, um, this is the attribute table uh, file, DBF, and that that's the projection file. And uh, we need to find the vector file for inputting it. So it's SHP. Uh, uh, choose it and open it and then add and at last oh, uh, close this window so this is my uh, share file and then we open we choose the share file layer and it's highlighted and I right click on it and uh, open attribute table click on it and so for example I want to know the column EP 95 uh, uh, mean or average value um, so how to do it so actually this time um, we, d we don't need to uh, use the attribute table tools uh, listed here. So he instead we need to use the menu vector menu and uh, find the analysis tools and uh, then choose the basic statistics for fields. Okay. So. Um, first, we need to choose the right uh, or candidate input layer. So here I only have one layer. Uh, sometimes you, you have many layers uh, overlapping each other. You need to uh, choose uh, the one you want to uh, do calculations on. Um, here I, I'm going to choose example layer and then we're going to choose the field to calculate statistics on. Uh, here we find the EP95 because I want to calculate the mean of EP95 column. So if here you want to save uh, to some places you click on here uh, to save to file. Here I don't want to save it. I just want to check the main file and do some note, a uh, quick note. So right now I click on run. So here uh, there is a lock uh, automatically uh, generated. So uh, there is some metadata so showing like a version or all kinds of versions of uh, plugins or softwares. Um, here we find the 
uh, results. So what I want, uh, so you can see that there is a count statistic, um, and uh, we uh, and maximum and mean and median and minimum. So what I want is a mean. So the mean value is this. The mean value of EP95 column is this. And then I got the mean value and I take note and uh, whatever, do whatever. Um, uh, that's uh, how to calculate uh, the mean or average value of a column in QGIS. Um, that's uh, all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please uh, subscribe it and uh, I'll bring you more um, uh, information or interesting uh, topics about data visualization or data visualization software or packages. Um, see you next time.